index form and index laws one and two. Just a review from last year. Remember, index means the power, the little number after a number or a letter. Notation is just a way of writing things. Index notation is a way of writing it when I've multiplied a number by itself or a letter by itself and I write it in index form. This was 3, the base number, multiplied by itself five times. It's not the same thing as 5 times 3. That would be 15. This is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And if we use our calculator to evaluate it to get the number answer, we use this button, the power button. 3 to the power 5 equals 243. So you'll remember from last year, this is expanded form. This is index form. And this is, I have evaluated it to get the number answer or a numeral. And remember, the base number is the big number or letter that's at the bottom that's getting multiplied together. We need to know that that's the base. The index or the power or the exponent is that one. So when I'm asked to write in expanded form and then evaluate, 4 squared means 4 times 4. And I evaluate I can use my calculator or I can know that that one's 16. Expanded form, evaluated. Negative 3 cubed, and notice it's got the brackets around it. That will be expanded form, negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. And we'd better use our calculator and use the brackets because there's brackets here. Bracket, use the negative 3 close the bracket to the power 3 equals negative 27. So it's a really good idea to use your calculator to evaluate. One third to the power 2. That means one third times one third. So we can use with this with fractions as well. And when we evaluate, use your Brackets, fraction, one-third, move out of the bracket, of the fraction, close the brackets, to the power, two, and I've got one over nine. So make sure you can use your calculators to evaluate from a power and that you know how to write in expanded form. And we need to be able to go from expanded form back to index form. So my base number is 2, and it's been multiplied together 6 times. It's been written in index form. Sometimes they're all mixed up, and I'll group them together. 6 times 6 is 6 squared, times y times y is y squared. And you remember in algebra we get rid of all our time signs, so this is just 6 squared y squared. We could, if we wanted, take that to 36 y squared. I'm OK with you leaving it like this. Now we've got fractions, and they're different fractions. It's numbers now, not letters. So when there's numbers and letters, we don't want time signs. It's OK to have some time signs when it's only numbers and fractions. A half was used three times. Remember, fractions have to go in brackets when they're to a power, a half to the power 3 times, because everything's times together, 1 third, and there's two of those, so that's to the power 2. 3 times 4 times x times x. These two aren't the same, but we can multiply them. 3 times 4 is 12. x times x is x squared, and no time sign. Now, I can't just remove that time sign. That would become 34. That's wrong. 
I've got to multiply those out. 3 times 4 is 12. I can't group them together because they're not the same base number. So I can just have to do the maths with that one. So that's a reminder of index and expanded form. And then remember your index laws, 1 and 2, for multiplying and dividing. And it only works when our terms have the same base number. Or letter. So law 1, you'll remember this. Stop and see if you remember what the trick is. When I'm multiplying terms with the same base, we add the powers. So, 2 to the power 3 times 2 squared is, keep the same base number, 5 plus 2, sorry, 3 plus 2 is 5. Same goes for letters. x to the power 4 times x to the power 3. Keep the same base. 4 plus 3 is 7. y times y cubed. Now you'll remember from last year, if the number or letter doesn't have a power, it's got an invisible 1. So we still add the powers. y4. And the opposite for dividing with the same base. Because multiplying and dividing are opposites. So we add the powers when we're multiplying. We subtract the powers when we're dividing. So it's just a little shortcut. 6 to the power 4 divided by 6 to the power 3. Keep the same base. 4 minus 3 is 1. So I could just write that as 6 or 6 to the power 1. A to the power 5 divided by A. Remember that's got a power 1. A to the power 5 minus 1, 4. And sometimes we'll see a division like a fraction. It works exactly the same way. The fraction means divide. B to the power 10 divided by B to the power 5. B, 10 minus 5 is 5. So, remember, index notation, how we could go with expanded form and index form, what our base number is, and that the index laws for multiplying and dividing work when we're multiplying and dividing terms with the same base. Shortcut when we're multiplying of add the powers, shortcut when we're dividing, subtract the powers.